a man bought 25 crates of oranges for rupees 10,000. He lost 5 crates. In order to earn a total profit of 25% of the total cost, he would have to sell each of the remaining crates at. So I think a simple question from profit and loss, right? He has bought 25 crates for rupees 10,000. So the total cost price is rupees 10,000, right? He lost five crates. That means if he has lost five crates, he's left with only 20 of them now. In order to earn a profit of 25% of the total cost, profit is how much? 25%. 25% of the total cost, which is 25% of 10,000, which is 2,500. He would have to sell each of the remaining crates. So what will be the total selling price? Selling price is cost price plus profit. So it will come out to be 10,000 plus 2,500, which is 12,500. 12,500 for how many crates? For 20 crates, remember. 12,500 for 20 crates. Why is it so? Because 5 crates are lost. 25 minus 5, 20. So what's the uh, selling price of each crate? Selling price uh, per crate. How much is that? I mean, you don't have to write this step. 12,500 by 20. It comes out to be 625. 625. Option 2. Next question. That is on simple and compound interest, I guess. Yeah? A money lender lends rupees 400 for 3 years to a person and lends rupees 500 for 4 years to the other person at the same rate of simple interest. If altogether he receives rupees 160 as interest, what is the rate of interest per annum? Another sitter in my view, you just have to, you know, play with these numbers here. He has lent rupees 400 for 3 years to a person. So this is like principle 1, this is time 1. You're getting it if you just go by the equations. He lends another rupees 500, so principle 2, for 4 years, time 2, to another person at the same rate of simple interest. Rate of simple interest is same, which means R1 is equal to R2. The rate of interest is same in both the case. If altogether he receives rupees 160 as interest. So basically SI1 plus SI2 equals to 160. What is the rate of interest per annum is the question. What is SI1? P1, T1, R1 by 100. What is SI2? P2, T2, R2 by 100. So do that calculation. P1, 400. T1, 3. R1. Let's say R1 equals to R2 equals to R. Both of them are equal. Divide by 100. Plus P2, T2, R2 by 100. SI2 is P2, T2, R2. P2, 500. T2, 4 years. R2 is R again. Divided by 100. Equals to 160. So what happens? You know, zeros anyway get cancelled. 3, 4, 12. 5, 4, 20. 12 plus 20, 32 R. 32 R is 160. So what is R? 160 by 160 by 32, which is 5 percentage. Option 1 is the answer. Right? I mean, you can do this mentally as well. And of course, don't write these steps. R1 equals to R2 equals to R. SI1 plus SI2 equals to 160. This is a waste of time. Maybe you just put this equation directly and then simplify to get the answer.